Emma Raducanu was unable to continue her winning return from injury as she was defeated 7-6, 5-6-7, 3-6-1 -6 by Alina Svitolina, in the second round of the Auckland Classic. The Brit had been on the verge of a major scalp, but faltered in the third set, where her Wimbledon semi-finalist opponent took advantage to claim victory in a disappointing finish for the 21-year-old. Raducanu played some of the best and most aggressive tennis of her career since winning the US Open in 2021 to go 5 to 1 up in the first set, only to be pegged back to 5 to 5 by the tournament's second seed. However, against the world number 25, whom Raducanu admires greatly, she battled well in the face of adversity and made good use of the drop shot to hold her nerve and take the set in the tiebreaker. She was broken in a second set that threatened the match going the distance, but quickly broke back and recovered from a 3-1 deficit to lead 4-3. Without having to stress over injury concerns, Raducanu showcased what a threat she can be and the drop shots came in handy once again to break Svitolina a second time to take advantage of the match. But she was unable to see out the win over Svitolina in a second tiebreak of the day after a lapse in concentration. The third set then proved a step too far as she was broken early and the near three-hour long contest went the way of her Ukrainian opponent. It was a dismal third set for Raducanu who nearly got bageled after two impressive previous sets. However, coming ever so close to victory over one of the sport's top players will bode well for Raducanu in her comeback. There will be concerns, however, over strapping that Raducanu had on her right thigh, having returned to action for the first time this week after 259 days out injured.